Okay, everybody, so welcome to the Sacrilolta system. So it's a single star system located in the Milky Way galaxy and it sits in a distance around 92 light years away from the sun. The system has been nicknamed um, the System of Wonders due to the fact that it has eight habitable wells, all eight of which have indeed been proven to have life. However, no intelligent life forms have been found here. Okay, so the star itself down here. There it is. Um, so, uh, it's the main star of the system is roughly half the size of the sun. It has an extremely active star and a surface temperature of roughly 3,500 degrees Celsius. Okay, on to the planets. So first of them here. So uh, minor, minor ver here. Let's go on um realistic. There you go. That's Bella. So one of the eight has a world. It is home to several species of aquatic creatures and winged reptiles. It has one moon. Okie dokie. There is the moon. Speak of the moon. There he is. That's Idel there. Nice. Okay. Looking good. Next up, we've got Diana over here. One of eight Hathor worlds. It is home to several species of aquatic creatures and winged reptiles. It has one moon as well. So, very similar to the first planet. There you go. Next up, we've got Quernus over here. There we go. So, one of eight Hattel Wells is home to all kinds of mammals and reptiles. It has two moons. So, we got the first one over here, Consus. Outer moon is one of eight Hattel Wells, much like Quernus. It's home to all kinds of mammals and reptiles. Okay. There we go. And then the next one over here, this one does not have a description. Okay. Next up, we've got Cupid over here. So, again, another one of the Hattel Wells. There you go. It's home to several species of massive aquatic creatures. It has one moon. So there it is there. Okay, let's go check them out. Looking good. Alrighty. Now moving on to the next one. Derva over here. Again, one of eight has for worlds. <laughs> Quite repetitive, isn't it? Um, all kinds of reptiles. So it's the same old on most of these so far. Okay, so there we go. Right. Next up, this one has a huge description. So what is this one? Gervantus, one of eight has a world. It's one moon, essentially a frozen wasteland where temperatures can reach below minus 100 degrees. Due to this, it is home to very few creatures. The creatures that do reside here are extremely interesting as they do as they are massive and able to survive extremely cold temperatures. They are the most intelligent life forms discovered in the system as they are shown to exhibit behavior of early cavemen, such as creating weapons. However, they are also extremely aggressive and they're not officially classified as intelligent life forms. Alrighty, there you go. Over here, the frozen wasteland. Right, so moving on. So next up, we are heading to. So we've done. Yeah, so we've just, just done. So Juventus. So we're going to Romina, which is over here. So we're skipping those astropole objects by the looks of it. Oh, yeah, here it is. Massive gas giant with a total of 67 moons. So Sylvanus, its innermost moon, is one of the eight Hatable worlds, which is this one. There it is. It's very ocean covered. As aquatic species, so it's melting. And the rest of these, I'm guessing, are all asteroid moons, aren't they? Or just random place moons? Yeah, there seems to be nothing of significance. Okay, so you got all of those. Right, next up, we're going to Invida over here. There it is, a beautiful ice giant with rings. It has a total of 22 moons. Okay, none of them have been noted for anything, so there they are. Yeah, they're just all random spawns, aren't they? Yeah, okay. Next up, we got Somnus over here. A witch world in precious gems, such as diamonds. It has a total of four moons. Okay, no description for those either. So they all are there. Okay, moving on. So we've got dwarf planets. So I'm guessing we're going back to the inner system here. We've got Vagir Tanus is here. A world rich in metals such as iron and copper it has a total of three moons, which are all of these guys. Okay, next up we got uh, Tiber in this over here. Where is that? There it is. Another one in the asteroid belt region. Rich in metals such as aluminum and magnesium has five moons. Again, there's not much customization in this system. A lot of it seems a lot of copy paste. Um, next up we got Mantis. Which, where, where's that one? There it is over here. 
A frozen world that is believed to have an ocean under its surface. It has a total of seven moons. It's got some like, glowing, uh, glowing patches on it almost. Yeah, the colour, that's interesting. So there's the moons. Where do all are there? And lastly, Pilimus. The mysterious world of rings has a total of eight moons. So there we go. Not really any descriptions for any of them. Okay, so there it is. And yeah, it's the last planet with a nice uh, set of rings on it. So there we go. And that does it for the system of the eight Hathwell worlds. So what do you guys think of that? So there we go. Anything further out? Doesn't look like it. Let's get the lineup of everything in here. There we go. There's your lineup. It's down to the rocky worlds here. I think that's gone. Um, gone to studio just to see him all there. Oh, hey, behave. Right. So there's the uh, That's the big objects there, isn't it? For the most part, so is that the eight? Oh, no, the eighth one is that moon, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Because that's uh, what's that? That's seven, isn't it? Yeah. And then the eighth one, I think, is that one. Cool. So there we go. What do you guys think of that? But yeah, that was said. Then everybody, again, a massive thank you to the creator of this system for sending this simulation. So that was the King of Sweets. Let us know what you think down below in the comments of this one. And yeah, that was said and done. Make sure to like this video. Let's see if we can go for 100 likes on today's video as well. And also subscribe. Help us on the journey to 50,000 subscribers. But yeah, like I said, everybody. Make sure you have a great day out there, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.